go out in Tel Aviv on a Saturday night. Ooh, yes. in the morning my eyes are still puffy as you can see and we're on our way we're waiting for our coach to come so we can go to Masada and go to the Dead Sea today the coach on our way to Jerusalem and then to the Dead Sea and then to Masada which is like some two and a half thousand years old ruins so yeah an hour into our journey and we arrive at the sea level zero, which has an altitude of zero. This is a viewpoint in the mountains of the Judean desert. After about three hours, we finally arrive at the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Masada National Park. This is a stone fortress that is situated on top of an isolated rock plateau overlooking the Dead Sea and dates back to 37th century BC. There are two ways to get up to this fortress, one by hiking the snake trail, which I will show you in just a bit, and the other by taking this cable car, which is the option that we took. We are now in the cable car and you can see these hikers going down the snake trail and we lazy buggers on the cable car. But guys, look at this gorgeous views from the cable car. Oh my God, so beautiful. Can you guys spot the Dead Sea in the background? It's only 20 kilometers away from here. You see that blue water? That is the Dead Sea. What you see in front of you is which is where the Roman camps used to be and this square over here in the center of the screen that was the largest Roman camp out of the eight camps surrounding Masada. So that was it the Masada National Park going back in the cable car now all the way down to get on that coach and make our way to the Dead Sea. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Masada National Park. Here in the Dead Sea just going in the water, it's so warm. Ooh. I've already dipped myself in just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in again, you can see some Dead Sea mud already on my face. Just rub some Dead Sea mud on my face. Ooh, hello, fella. <laughs> And look at Philip, he's already in the water. By the way, guys, this water has 37% salt, so you just can't drown in it. So you float and look at him enjoying the water. After all that messing around in the Dead Sea and floating in the water, it was time for a drink in the lowest bar in the world, 
which is at minus 430 meters below sea level. Oh, yes. So all dressed up again and we only just got back about an hour ago from our trip to Masada. They were such a beautiful trip and the Dead Sea, oh my god, it was so much fun playing with the mud. But now we're just going down to the hotel restaurant we're gonna have like a nice date tonight and have some dinner. Tomorrow morning, again, we gotta be up by six o'clock because we booked a trip to go to Jerusalem and then all to the Bethlehem, which was the place where Jesus Christ was born. So I did some shopping, of course I had to, and I bought this natural Dead Sea mud uh, from this brand called Ohava, which is a very popular brand in uh, Israel. I then also picked this bad boy up. This is the 24 karat gold mineral mud mask. Really excited to try this one. It is 7.12 this morning. We're already in the coach. On our way to Jerusalem now. So I think I slept okay, but just not enough. So a little bit tired today. I'm in the city of Jerusalem, which is behind me. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and this is an historic church within the Christian quarter of the city of Jerusalem. This is the site where it is believed that Jesus was crucified and also contains the place Jesus was buried. This marble cladding you see down there covers the burial bed or the tomb of Jesus and that is why you're seeing people praying there. the wailing wall and you touch the wall to make prayers to the God um, and it's believed that God listens to your prayers so I'm just gonna go there and make a little prayer for the long life and health of my family and loved ones it's quite a surreal experience I mean even though I'm not very religious but I am really enjoying seeing Jerusalem um, and what it has to offer we have now arrived in the city of Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus. We're going to go into the church of nativity and see the star of Jesus and also the manger where Jesus was born.
fam i finally got to sleep in good 10 hours feeling refreshed and ready to spend the next two days by the poolside sipping cocktails getting in the water all the lovely things i've checked into our new hotel and it's fabulous look at my bathroom hey guys nice shower beautiful sink and then this is the bedroom big ass king size bed and then let's check out the view my balcony and hello israel tel aviv look at this gorgeous view i thought the view at the Drisco hotel was beautiful but this one oh my god i'm loving it obsessed with this view Just watching the beautiful sun go down on our last night in Tel Aviv before we fly out tomorrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog of mine. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>